Has anyone ever told you that if you wanna see a change in your life, change something about yourself, all you need to do Guess what? You've been lied to. Today I'm gonna to show you why affirmations are not working for you right now and what you need to do so that they can work for you to have the life you want. Hey guys, my name is Abby. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't done already, please hit subscribe and hit the like button because that will help these videos spread. So yes, affirmations, what's going on? Why do they seem to work for some people? And the more you say them, it doesn't even matter. For one, let's think about why you're even saying an affirmation. You're saying an affirmation because there's something in your life that you either wanna change, that you wish you could experience, something, right? So for example, you might have affirmations based on finances. You want your finances to change. Maybe you can barely pay the bills that you have right now. And okay. I am a millionaire. I am financially abundant. And you say over and 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 over. And over, and over, and over. As you overdraft and you don't have any money in your bank and yet you're looking in the mirror or sitting there calmly telling yourself how much money and how much abundance you have. Or maybe you wanna lose some weight and you want a different body. You wanna gain weight, you wanna lose weight. It doesn't matter, you have a current body and say, okay, I have a six pack. And you try to put your clothes on and they don't fit. Or you're thinking, my arms are big, all this weight, I'm so bulky and your pants don't fit because they fall down. And you're sitting there just repeating these words over and over and over again. It's not working. Why is that happening? Let me explain. We you, me, everyone on the planet has something called a cybernetic mechanism. What? A cybernetic mechanism is how you see yourself. There is something in your head that has a basic image of who you are, what you do, what you're capable of, what you're not capable of, and it keeps you in this box, for lack of a better word. An easy example is a thermostat. When a thermostat set at 70 degrees, if it gets like 72, a mechanism's gonna kick on to bring it back down to its set point, just the same as if it gets colder, it's gonna bring it back on so that it stays near this set point. It doesn't wanna get 80, it doesn't wanna get 60, it wants to stay at its set point. If you change the thermostat setting, say maybe you take it up to 75, maybe you take it up to 80. I don't know where you live, I don't know if that's gonna be a comfortable or a terrible experience. But if you do that, well, the behavior is going to change. Okay, now 82 and 78 are the realm. So you can think about if that's a weight, you can think about if that's money. Everything happens where we start acting a certain way and if it goes against our basic cybernetic mechanism, we will have sabotaging behavior and I'm going to link the video that I made about what self-sabotage really is up above in the cards so you can check that out to get more information because it's not what you think. We have this basically self-preserving action because we we see ourselves going about, oh no, we're gonna do something that could danger us, right? We're gonna get outside that realm of how we see ourselves. No, don't do that, stop. And you bring it back down. So when we bring in these affirmations that go against how we think we're supposed to be, we're not gonna see a lot of change. We're gonna repeat, we're gonna repeat, we're gonna repeat, and nothing's gonna change. I like to use a beach ball. Today. So imagine you have a beach ball at a pool, some vessel of water, whatever you wanna imagine right now. And an affirmation is you pushing down, right? So the beach ball is gonna represent a belief. So say that is you have a lack. Okay, we're gonna take it a financial. Okay, no, I have abundance. No, you know, the, the beach ball is pushing back. I have abundance, I'm a millionaire, I have more than I need, and you're pushing it down, you're pushing it down, you're pushing it down, you're pushing it down. Well, that's creating a lot of resistance and tension because the more you're pushing it down, the more it's building up, it's gonna give more pressure to come back to the surface so that belief can surface. So all those affirmations will be completely useless because that belief is gonna pop back up to the water, to awareness, to your habits, through to your behavior, just like the beach ball is gonna pop back up to surface. From from the water. So it doesn't matter how many affirmations you do. It doesn't matter how much effort you put. You're not wrong. You have your heart in the right place. You have your intention in the right place. But what is happening and the biggest key to this is let's look at your beliefs. That's really what's happening. We want affirmations to fortify and remind us of the beliefs we're wanting to change. First we got to do, the first thing we have to do is to be aware of what we believe. We have to be aware of what we're doing in the first place. Why do you, why do you want this? Okay, you want money. Why, why is it that you 
you want money. I want to feel safe. I want to feel like I have what I need. Okay, well, when's the first time that you ever felt like you didn't have what you need? Or maybe it's with weight. Okay, I want to be really buff. I want people to be able to see. I want to look good when I don't have clothes on. Why? You know, when's the first time you didn't feel comfortable in your body? This is where we can start to see where our beliefs were formed. Once you've done that and you start looking at, okay, oh yeah, when I was five years old, someone made fun of me when I was at the beach. They made fun of my body and they pointed it out and people laughed at me and then I wanted to hide it. I needed to change it. I always wanted to change my body. That's what it could sound like. It could sound like one time when I was seven years old, I went to the store, got my money and I went to go pay for the toy I wanted. I didn't have enough. The cashier was frustrated at me and told me to go away and not to waste his time. That is going to form a belief and it's going to form and fortify how you see yourself. So even though that happened at seven years old, it's a subconscious belief. And when you're at that time of your life, all you are is in subconscious programming. You are in theta happens between the last trimester of your biological mother and seven years old. All that time you're in the subconscious brain where you're just absorbing and you're taking it in. When you don't look and see why you believe that, why you want to make these changes, you don't understand what your beliefs are. And just like if you're going to make an alteration in a house, you need to see, is this a supporting wall? Why, why is this wall there, right? What is the structure I'm working with currently? Then I can make a remodel. You can't just break all the walls. It's going to collapse. So you have to be aware and slowly start bringing that awareness into your consciousness so you can see what you're working with. So the second thing is once you start looking at, okay, that's what I think now. What do I want to think? What would it be like to have that body, to take off your shirt, to walk into a place and be able to buy whatever it is you want? What would that feel like? What would it feel like to wake up peaceful and to go out through the whole day just feeling so full of love? What would it be like? And really sit down, take a time out from your life right now, the life that you want to make a change from. You need to separate yourself and, and give this time for these things. Best time to do this is actually right before you go to bed and then right when you wake up. Really feeling what that would be like. Okay, well, I wake up and I have several commas in my bank account into my net worth. Wow, what would that feel like? And let your imagination go wild. Every thought you think your body releases a chemical. So as you're having these abundant think thoughts, think thoughts, then you're going to be releasing these feelings that you probably haven't felt before. What that is doing neurologically is starting to create new connections. And you're actually going to be neurologically prepared to have that experience in life because your brain doesn't know the difference between really vivid imagination, really feeling, huge Neville Goddard teachings, and the actual experience itself. The third thing you can do is you see where you are now, you see why you have those beliefs. Now you're imagining where you want to be, so there's a gap. And what you really want to spend your time doing is observing, oh, okay, I'm starting to feel lack, oh, I'm starting to feel really worried that I don't have enough money. Okay, you get to the bottom of that and then you move into those feelings. And this is where affirmations can be huge. Now you're going to be using them as a fertilizer for those new feelings, those new beliefs, not as the standalone support, which is so often what people do. So the first thing is to just be real with yourself. Why and how did you come up with this cybernetic view of yourself, the self-image? Two, you're gonna wanna feel the things and really imagine what it would be like and will be like to have them, to already possess them, to be living that life. And the third one is to start identifying when you're doing that that first thing, that those old patterns, and use the affirmations. Use that to remind yourself of where you're wanting to go, who you're wanting to be, and how you wanna feel. Feel that now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please hit the like and the subscribe button will show you exactly when I release my next video and I will see you on the next one.